Welcome back, this is M-Dog. So, last video we took a look at a starter spot for learning how to do carp fishing at Bear. Now we're taking a look at a starter spot on Amber. Okay, so if you're, if you're able to travel to Amber, when spots like this are hot, it is a beautiful thing for uh, lower level players or players that don't quite have the gear to, to go after carp out on the main lake. So where we are right now is actually right near spawn, which is super fun. And you can see in about 36 minutes, we've got some decent carp here. Uh, so it's a nice little bite rate. Uh, let's look at the map, by the way. We're right out here in this pond. We're casting at about 16 meter clip. 15, 16 is what, probably what you want. I'm doing 16 because I usually overcast and it pops back a little bit. This is the setup we're using. I am using PVA. You're fine if you don't have PVA. If you can feed the water, feed the water. If you can't, just deal with it. It's probably going to affect your bite rate a little bit, but it should still be decent because we're using 14 size pellets. By the way, if you don't have PVA or can't feed the water, bait the water increase your bite rate of carp, then maybe even use smaller size boilies. You're definitely gonna get smaller carp, but that might help with your bite rate, so at least you feel like you're catching some, some decent fish, and reasonable size carp will still be mixed in. So don't be afraid to mix it up, but we're still using that krill and salmon stuff that we've been using out on the main, uh, the main lake, but we're doing it over here in this pond. We're getting a really nice bite rate. Rares occasionally may show up. Trophies may show up. But mostly what we're going for here is just a really nice bite rate of fish. We haven't had a mirror yet, which is weird. We actually haven't been catching non-carp, which is nice. We've just had commons and the one linear. But we really haven't been here that long either. And most of it was overnight. So, I mean, morning and then evening, this spot should be great. And then during the day, it's okay. I think overall, yeah, 164 silver all, all, already. Overall, you're gonna do better in this spot than the last spot I showed you on bear, but it is a similar spot in the sense that the carp are gonna be on average a little smaller. Should be a pretty decent bite rate though, and you're not gonna get spooled because it's in this, in this pond area. There's no way for the carp to go. Nowhere for them to go. So you can see I'm using both setups. This was the freshwater krill pellets with the salmon 20 boilies there's some there's a mirror actually that mirror is perfect for the cafe order isn't it so we've got one hook freshwater krill pellets 14 salmon 20 spicy salmon dip and then we've got one hook 14 uh, red krill prep pellets tw salmon 20 spicy salmon and then this one's going to be this one's gonna be the same as the second one. This is the setup I like better, but this third setup is also working. So keep that in mind. You can still have some variety. Um, you could even try just pellets, you know? There's lots of things you can try to try to increase your bite rate. Um, in spots like this on Amber, whatever you can do to increase your bite rate, you wanna do it. You're volume fishing, right? You're trying to just volume fish. Um, that's 36 silver for one little mirror carp, which is nice. And um, yeah, when you have good hours, the silver is going to roll in. But even in slower hours, a spot like this should be pretty decent. Um, so just like I showed you on bear, uh, you know, your gear may look more like um, Fortuna Carp Rod with the caliber and... Um, Maybe the 18 lead core, 18.1 liter. We're doing classic hair here. And like I said, you could go two pellets. You could try that. Um, I'm doing the pellet and the sinking boilie. Probably do want to have a large one hook on and then just figuring out like what you want to do here. You could also just try a boilie. You could just try a pellet. I think the two pellet idea is kind of interesting. You put the two different type of krill pellets together, see if that works. Like there's all kinds of stuff you could do. Uh, but the good thing is in this pond, even if you do happen to hit a trophy, you're not gonna get spooled. Uh, and you can catch that fish, It'll take a little while, but you can catch that fish. 
but overall pretty good. And if you look at the weight, like we're getting some reasonably sized, uh, catching some reasonably sized carp here. I think it's easier here than it is at Bear if you have, if you level wise can come to Amber. Right now, at least this spot seems a little more active to me than Bear did. But Bear um, is kind of fun because you have the, the black carp coming in a little more frequently than the rare carp are probably coming in here, although the rare carp are certainly possible here. Um, so that's nice. Let's see if we can get one more fish here. I don't. I like doing these videos fairly short. Um, <clears throat> just kind of trying to check different spots. I like this sort of rhythm I've got going. I will still do the long form videos some for sure. Uh, but right now I'm just, you know, with limited time, I'm, I'm playing lots of different fishing games, to be honest, kind of messing around different games. So um, I'm kind of enjoying this short form, mixing in some of these short form videos too. But this is a definitely a good way. If you're, if you're new to Amber, this is a good way to approach... Um, New, good way to approach Amber and feel a little bit safer about uh, carp fishing here. I bet we could come up with a little bit better PVA for this. Uh, the PVA is a little heavy for what we're really going for. We might want a little, a little bit, um, a little bit lighter PVA, but it, it seems to be working fine. And look how close this clip is. Even if you do catch something small like this, like. You hardly notice, right? You just get it in in no time. I'm trying to decide if there's anything we want to try different, just for fun. Try the two krills together for a second. So this is a double pellet setup. You know, we do this with corn sometimes. In fact, we could have put the same two pellets on there, but we'll try this for a minute. See if we can get a fish on there. Once again, that late morning kind of time. I don't think this spot, like at Bear, it was really slow in the middle of the day. Now this spot might be pretty slow too, but I don't think it'll be quite as slow as Bear was. I don't know though. Uh, again, I don't want to wait around forever, but I'm trying to just see if we can see one or two more fish before we call it. But this is one of what, about, actually about four spots. I think there's four or five spots that are worth trying around this uh, around this pond, um, but it's always worth checking in here. A lot of times, one of these spots will be pretty hot, pretty active. So I am thinking that because it's not morning or evening, we're tending to get the get, get the juveniles right now. They've been mixed in some, to be fair, but at the right times of day, we've been catching pretty decent carp. So, wow, look how fast that bite was. Again, very small, though. You almost hope this isn't a carp. It is, though. Smaller baits. That's what we get sometimes with the smaller baits. The very first spot I remember being pretty uh, on fire at this place was that, um, oh, you can't see it from here, can you? There's a peg right over here. 
off the uh, pond. Unless it's been demolished. It must sit down low. Yeah, it's right there. So it's about a 20, 21 clip right off this this little um, this little peg. I actually really like fishing in this spot. And you're really just kind of casting out there. You see that lamp over there? Sometimes I'll use that as a landmark. 20, 21 meters. Works great. I think we might have a fish on. Maybe not. Maybe we're just getting a nibble. Yeah, I think the middle rod, maybe our two pellets finally caught something. Oh, yeah. I like it. Uh-oh, it's small. It's really small. Look at that, though. A mirror ghost carp. Okay. That's interesting, right? On the two pellets. Huh. Very small pellets. These are 14 size pellets, so... All right, I think that's enough. Let's let's go ahead and wrap it up there. Fun spot if you're new to amber, if you are just wanting to ease into carp fishing, certainly worth checking the spot out. There's been some good fish caught here, by the way. I mean, we haven't hit any of the big ones yet. Um, and, you know, the, the setups we're using are going to be a little smaller. We got up to 14 kilo, though, at, at ideal time. 14, almost 13, 12 and a half there. So it's still possible to hit some big boys, but... You're going to get a lot of more, a lot more small to medium sized carp with this kind of setup, which is typically fine. Again, if you can get that bite rate up, if you can get the volume going, uh, you can still make really good silver on carp uh, as long as the as the catch rate's high enough. Uh, okay, tight lines, everybody. Let me know how your fishing's going. Uh, certainly, if you have tried uh, this spot or the spot at Bear, let me know how your results are, and um, we'll see one more fish here before I say goodbye. Quick bite rate. Now these are, uh-oh. Fish might have popped, it scared itself right off of there. I'm not sure that it stayed on. Now it could still be nibbling, but we'll give it a second. It, it might have scared itself away. It gave it that really big pop and then it, and then it just backed off. That was a pretty quick turnaround though on the two pellets. We got a pretty fast bite just from throwing it in. I don't know what's going on on line one. We have not had a fish. I don't think I've had a fish on line one since we started the video. Uh, earlier I did, but. That's a pretty fish. It's just so small. Just so small. Do we think this is the same fish? It's kind of like another aggressive biting. All right, let's see what this is. It's a nice little common. I like it. Pretty quick bite rate on the, on the, uh, on the double pellets, not bad at all. We will take it. Okay, folks, tight lines. I'll see you next time.